Hello again my friends, since it's launch Bungie has been keeping a close eye on Destiny and the way you guys have been playing the game, and as a result, many tweaks, adjustments and patches are now coming into effect, some of them more noticeable than others. So then, let's have a look at exactly what Bungie has in store for us. First up, the Cryptarch, also known as the Trollock, also known as that colossal blue bastard who never seems to decrypt legendary engrams into effing legendary items. Now the Cryptarch has become an infamous figure of fun in the Destiny community, he's even spawned numerous parody accounts on Twitter, my favourites being the Cryptarch and legendary engram, and here are some examples of the lols. First up, this tweet from Legendary Engram. Roses are red, your item is blue, your engram was purple, sucks to be you. <laughs> LOL. Next up, this tweet from the Cryptarch. Part-time Cryptarch, full-time asshole. Amen to that shit. So then, what's Bungie actually doing about this? Well, Bungie admits that they didn't adequately communicate the random outcomes of engram decryption, and that we can expect to see changes that address this issue soon. Now, my guess is that you'll now have a far higher chance of actually receiving a legendary item from a legendary engram. And Bungie, if you're listening, please make this happen sooner rather than later. Just look at how players are degrading themselves in order to get an effing legendary item from the Cryptarch. Next up, we have Destiny's famous loot cave, an area in old Russia where guardians farmed engrams by taking out enemies as soon as they spawned. But this exploit has now been patched, and here's why, in Bungie's own words. Shooting at a black hole for hours on end isn't our dream for how Destiny is played. Our hope is that social engagement in public spaces is only one part of the Destiny experience. Expect changes soon, which decrease the efficiency of cave farming and correspondingly increase engram drops from completing activities. In short, exploiting farming spots in Destiny is now going to be a lot harder and a lot less rewarding. Bungie is also patching the materials you get when you dismantle any legendary gear received from completing the Queen's Wrath missions. Dismantling these items will no longer provide those super rare ascendant shards that you need to upgrade your legendary gear. So then, as well as patching exploits and tweaking loot systems, Bungie is also adding in-game features and nerfing and buffing certain weapons. For starters, Destiny will eventually allow players to opt into voice communication during match-made activities. Work on this feature was underway at launch and according to Bungie, should be rolled out this year in Strikes and Crucible. And now onto Destiny's weapon nerfs and buffs. Thorn, an exotic hand cannon, and Bad Juju, an exotic pulse rifle, are being buffed at some point in the future in response to player complaints that they are underpowered. Auto rifles will eventually be nerfed to make them less effective at long range. Scout rifles will be buffed to increase their power. And shotguns will be nerfed to be less effective at a longer range. And guys, this news came in as I was making this video. As of next week, legendary engrams will now always produce legendary or better quality items, including exotics. Hurrah! And rare engrams will now always produce rare or better quality items and have an increased chance to produce legendary quality items. A double hurrah! And finally, daily heroics, weekly heroics and vanguard tiger playlist activities will include rare and legendary engrams in addition to their existing rewards. That's right, triple hurrah! And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you want even more details about all the patches and updates I spoke about in this video, click the links in the description box below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If we can get to 3,000 likes, that would be amazing and show me that you guys like these kind of breakdown videos. Subscribe for daily Destiny content and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. Here comes that mother chuff of a boom. Hello again my friends, really glad to see you made it beyond the boom. Now, if you want to see what exotic item I purchased from Zure this week, click the on-screen image or follow the link in the description box below. And guys, now that my internet is finally back to normal, you can expect daily Destiny content to resume. I'm currently working on my first exotic bounty, the Invective Shotgun, so you can expect to see a video on that pretty damn soon. And of course, all the latest Destiny news. And that, my friends, really does bring us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and as always... Until next time, Guardians.